Hello and welcome. My name is Megan. Today we are going to learn how to use the OverDrive website. We will start at the library website, tempepubliclibrary.org. First, we will click Digital Library, then eLibrary, and eBooks. Here you will find the digital platforms the library offers. Scroll down to OverDrive. OverDrive offers a selection of e-books and e-audiobooks. You can check out up to eight titles and place 10 titles on hold per month. While the library is closed, you can check out 12 items per month. The checkout period is 14 days. Now click OverDrive to access the desktop site. To sign into OverDrive, click Sign In. Then use the drop-down menu to select Tempe Public Library. Enter your library card number and your PIN. Then click Sign In. If you do not have a Tempe Public Library card, you can sign up for one on our website, tempepubliclibrary.org. Now that we are signed in, we can browse the titles offered on OverDrive. On the home page, you will find various collections including the new Lucky Day collection. This is a collection of popular titles that are available on a first-come, first-served basis. The checkout period is three days. Once a title is checked out, it disappears from the collection until the title is available again. You can also browse collections by using the collection button at the top of the screen. There are several collections available under eBooks and audiobooks. Let's browse new eBook editions. To narrow your results, use the filters on the left-hand side. Another way to browse is by subject. Click the subject button at the top of the screen. Then select a subject like mythology. This will display all the titles related to the subject you chose. Again, you can use the filters on the left-hand side to narrow your search results. You can also search for titles by clicking on search. You can type in the search box or click Advanced to search by the advanced search options. Let's search for a title. I'm going to search for Harry Potter. Now you can view all the titles offered in the series. Notice that titles that are available for checkout have an available sticker at the top, and titles that are currently checked out have a waitlist sticker at the top. To view more information about a title, click on it. Here you will see the details about the title, including suggestions for other titles you might like. Let's check this title out by clicking Borrow. You can choose a checkout period of 7 or 14 days, then click Borrow. Now you have access to your title in your browser or by download. Now let's place a hold on a title by selecting Place Hold. A window will pop up that displays your place in line for the title, as well as how you will be notified when your title is available. If you are not ready for a hold when it becomes available, you can choose the Deliver Later option. This keeps you at the front of the line but passes the title on to the next person in line. If you find a title that you are interested in but not ready to check out, or you have met your maximum for holds or checkouts, you can place an item on your wish list by selecting the button that looks like a ribbon with a plus sign. To read a title, select the title. Then select the number of stars you would give that title. To recommend a title for purchase, search for a title. Then use the filters on the left to select the Recommend to Library filter. This will display all the titles the library does not own in relation to your search. Any title that is not owned will have a Not Owned sticker at the top. To recommend this title for purchase, select Recommend. 
If the library purchases the title, you'll be placed on the holds list. To access titles you have checked out or placed on hold, you can click on My Account or the icon that looks like books on a shelf. In the Loans tab, you will find titles you have checked out. From here, you can read or listen to your titles in the browser, you can download them, or you can return them. All checked out titles will automatically return on the due date, but you can return a title early by clicking Return. You will also have the option to renew a title three days before the due date if the title is not on hold for another patron. Under the Holds tab, you can view the titles you have placed on hold. From here, you can view the approximate wait time. You can edit the email where you'll be notified when your hold is ready. You can suspend a hold and you can remove a hold. Suspending a hold will allow you to move up the wait list, but the hold will not be released to you while it is suspended. Under the wish list tab, you can view the titles you have put on your wish list. From here, you can borrow a title, place a title on hold, or remove a title from your wish list. Under the Rated Titles tab, you can view all the titles you have rated. Under Recommendations, you can view the titles you have recommended for purchase. You can recommend one purchase per month. In History, you can view all the titles you have checked out. In Settings, you can choose your default loan period. You can select whether or not to keep track of the titles you check out. You can select the audience of content you would like to see, and you can choose from different display options. When you are done using OverDrive, you can select My Account and sign out. Thank you for joining me today.